All right, let's power this thing up. Let's see here. Very exciting. I'm brand new at this. Okay, press and hold the power switch. All right. Oh, it looks like it's. Oh my, we got a lot to do here. We got a lot to do. Let me see here. Let me get on my uh, website there. Set for lower sideband, 7 meg. Yeah, we uh, we need to change a bunch of stuff here. All right, to, to change the frequency band, press either the band down or the band up. I would say we have to go up. We're doing six meters, so up. Oh, it automatically changed it from a lower sideband to upper sideband. That's pretty smart. Right. So we are now on 50. I shall need my uh, cheat sheets. Oh, didn't put a link for it. I've got it all printed out, but I thought I, since I've got this whole setup here, this is what I plan on using for the winter. I might as well get it get it going. So uh, this is the ARRL website. Go to on click on on the air. Uh, operating resources. Let's see. I think it was. Yeah, this is the one. Amateur frequency allocations. There we go. I see. That's not quite what I was looking for. Frequency bands. Chart, I think is what I wanted. Collection. Well, we're already set for upper sideband, which is what I wanted. Adjusting the audio volume control. I don't know if it's... Uh, maybe. Oh, there we go. Audio. We're going to take it easy for now. I think we're on VFO. Yeah, we're on VFO right now. Let's see what my frequencies are. band plan up here and it says here that for six meters that's right the calling frequency is 50.125 is there a better way to do this is there a better way to adjust the frequency Setting the operating frequency. Oh, by default, the 857 begins operation in the fine tuning mode. Faster tuning may be selected. To engage fast tuning, just press the power switch momentarily. Uh oh, while the transceiver is on. And there's that running man. There's a running man icon. Let's see what we did. Oh yeah, that's a little bit better. Yes, tuning has increased significantly. So, pressing the power switch briefly, real quick, puts a little running man icon at the bottom right. Reminds me of my old uh, pace watch. My pedometer. So, whoops. I lost track of what I was doing. 50.125. So my frequency range, let's see here, for single sideband, 50.1 to 
<sighs> simplex So it looks like 50.1 to 50.3. So I'm just going to play around here. and um, So I think I've got my radio set up. I've got, I went ahead and did the memory for, um, memory one is for the, the six meter calling frequency and memory two is for the, uh, for the repeater. Um, took a while to get all the functions set up. It's, it's pretty basic. You, you, uh, you push the function key briefly and this the menus in the front panel that apply to these buttons come up if you push the function key down for a second uh, the, the extended memory if you will uh, the main memory for power all the settings that you can do for the radio pop in um, and I went through all those and uh, learned all those and you can actually set it to where it'll skip the ones that you don't need so you don't have to go through all 80 what is it 88 I think it was 89 no 91 yeah you can set it up to, to skip all the ones you don't need uh, so it makes it a lot quicker well, I just had an exciting time with my uh, with my QSO first QSOs I uh, went on the repeater our uh, local uh, club repeater just to get a radio check on that and then uh, from there, I had a couple guys that uh, wanted to do some six-meter testing with me because I expressed a desire for the uh, for the test. Uh, one guy's going to get back with me uh, in a few minutes, but I actually got a uh, a good check on six meters uh, with uh, a gentleman who's over at uh, Baldwin, Illinois. I had that up. Uh, that was Mark. Boy, this is just got to get used to all this stuff. K U. Whiskey 9 Kilo Uniform Fox. He was the guy in, uh, let me see if I got that. There we go, Baldwin, Illinois. And then you can click on the show map. Let's see if I can figure out, it doesn't have a distance thing, but it, it's quite a, quite a ways away, but maybe an hour drive away from here. I'm not familiar with that area. I have to figure out if there's a way that you can see distance. There we go. I don't know if you can do that. I'll work with that. But um, anyway, he got a good radio check. I told him what I had, and um, he's, he was very impressed with the uh, with the homemade antenna. And um, I transmitted out on 20 20 watts. Six meters. We we went to the calling frequency. Just did some real quick radio checks. Uh, so we didn't need to get off uh, for that. Uh, got caught off guard, though. I wasn't expecting that. So uh, I wrote wrote all these notes. But I actually had uh, one, two, three, four, four folks uh, on the repeater frequency getting back with me. Um, wasn't expecting the radio check so quick on the six meter. So I got a little flustered and started writing on the back of my Yezu uh, Yezu manual instead of on on the on the logbook that I wanted to, the manual logbook that I had set up. But it'll be interesting. So I took uh, the gentleman Mark from uh, Baldwin went ahead and did an entry in QRZ. When, I mean I, I feel that's pretty pretty noteworthy for a for a log. Not so much for the repeaters, but. Uh, but for six meters, I wanted to log every every uh, six meter contact that I make. Um, and again, it's just kind of kind of awkward going back and forth. Just the whole the whole peripheral thing with the computer, the logbook, trying to listen. Uh, it's really it's really cool. Well, I never got a call back from um, from Fred. I guess it was yeah, Fred. So uh, he said he was busy doing some running around. So um, I went ahead and got, got back onto the uh, six meter band and um, doesn't look like I'm going to be able to document my first QSO. It's already happened. 
uh, Baldwin, Illinois. But uh, it's very exciting. I got a good report, a good signal report. And um, I think I'm ready for my uh, for my Centennial ARRL Centennial QSO party. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and post this video, and um, this is my setup for now until the weather gets a little bit warmer, and I can start working on the outdoor uh, station. Lessons learned from uh, my first um, QSO, I guess, first four, three or four of them, I guess. I'm going to count the ones uh, on the two meter. Um, I need to slow down with my talk, and I get excited, and I start talking too fast. I notice that all the other ham operators talk in a nice, slow, um, easily understood way. And uh, I need to control my, I need to control my uh, talking, slow it down, and just en enjoy enjoy the moment instead of uh, getting all flustered with all the things that I'm trying to do to kind of keep caught up. Got to memorize the call sign, you know, and all the different things, and um, it just takes some practice, I would imagine. Shouldn't take too long for me to become a proficient ham operator. Well, 73s.